National Water and Sewage Corporation has embarked on an exercise to register and revamp the prepaid meter tokens in all the five divisions of Kampala. The system has been in place for the last 15 years. However, for the last five months, National Water and Sewage Corporation received a challenge that involved hacking into their system. This culminated in two faulty tokens in the areas of Chisenyi suburb. However, a group of coordinators to monitor implementation of the program have been trained. Water which is affordable at 25 shillings a jerry can. Formerly we had instances where a jerry can was going to 1,000 shillings because of the middlemen. So we are trying to eliminate middlemen who have been hawking at the same time hoarding water off the one inch of the planet. Oh, because this water is supposed to be paid 25 shillings for people who are down there. So for this matter, we will help to make sure that whoever doesn't comply with that, we take a necessary step. Meanwhile, to ease accessibility of clean and cheap water to the urban poor, National Water and Sewage Corporation will install 2,600 prepaid meters to add on the 1,400 existing ones. To add all these systems, and are now in the process of registering all the tokens. We have over 20,000 tokens in Kampala, so we are mobilizing the communities and different parts to come and have their tokens um, registered. Today, we are launching the recommissioning of these points, but also identifying the points we are going to add another 2,600 such meters to make sure that the water especially for the urban poor, is affordable and everything. The general manager, Kampala, Muhammad Lutaya, says people with conventional meters should not charge more than 100 shillings a jerry can, describing it as an act of exploitation. If you charge 50 shillings, you're still making a profit of 25 shillings. If you charge 100 shillings, you're making a profit of 75 what? shillings. The problem is the person who charges even 200 shillings. That's not acceptable at all. So we want to empower the communities and work with them. So if someone is charging more than 100 shillings, as a corporation, we're going to remove you from the PSP tariff and put you to, to, to a higher tariff, but maybe... National Water and Sewage Corporation signs MOUs with landlords in residences where they install prepaid meters to protect them. However, the technology remains a property of the government of Uganda in those areas. I'm Navka Farida in Kampala.